Hey guys, it's Epic Ethan from Independent TV. I'm doing another video PC tutorial thing here. And today I wanted to just cover something that a lot of people will ask when their computer starts slowing down uh, to somebody that knows something about computers. How do I speed up my computer? Um, and there's no simple answer to that. There's some things that you can do to maybe maximize your computer speed and the way it operates slightly, but nothing will increase your computer speed dramatically. Um, the best thing would be to clean up your hard drive because that's probably what's slowing down um, slowing down your computer is the stuff that you've got on your hard drive. Your hard drive is probably full is what I'm trying to say. Um, so maybe buying a new hard drive and installing that or maybe getting a portable hard drive um, would would alter the speed if you were to put all of your stuff that's cluttering up your hard drive onto your portable hard drive it would speed up things a little bit but nothing would nothing would really be visible speed uh... first thing you want to do to speed up your computer slightly i guess uh... is to go to my computer system properties advanced system settings uh... hit up performance settings uh... advanced and then you're going to be changing your virtual memory, which is sort of like a, it's your page filing size. So it's it's like have, giving you extra RAM that isn't there, but it sort of is there. Uh, the computer doesn't automatically, but you can change it, um, change it better yourself. Uh, if you're using a 64-bit operating system, you can change it up to whatever you want to change it to because it can use as many gigs uh, of RAM, but if you make it like a dramatic number, like 100 gigabytes, it's not going to do anything. Um, so I suggest 8 gigabytes for a, um, for a 64-bit operating system and 4 gigabytes for a 32-bit operating system, because 32-bit operating system can only notice 4 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, apply that, and you're done on that side of things. Next thing you want to do is to increase your um, increase your computer's uh, boot speed. Uh, it will increase it slightly, and all it's doing is taking out the the Windows loading screen, so it doesn't have to load that, and then come up with the loading screen, and then log on to your computer. It just skips the loading. Windows thing and just logs onto your computer. Um, so if you enjoy looking at the Windows loading screen, then don't do this. But if not, then go ahead. Uh, hit up your run thing. So just search run if you're on Windows 7, and then type in msconfig. You'll get this thing that pops up. It's going to be different if you're on XP or Vista, but it's it's basically the same thing. Uh, go to boot and select no GUI boot uh, and hit apply. You can also alter the stuff that starts up uh, when your computer starts up, which is in here. Uh, I don't need to alter anything. Wow, I just realized I have a lot of stuff that... that oh, I know, there it is. That's what it starts up. Um, DivX update, that's one thing I don't need to start up automatically. Um, and that's, that's about it. Now hit apply. And you're done on that side of things. You can restart and that will actually uh, save the settings, but we're going to continue doing some other stuff. Okay, so I just noticed how gay my uh, background, desktop background looks. It's it's a flower. Yes, I know. Uh, it, I'm actually using my, my old laptop, which I've given to my mom, and she prefers a desktop background that more suits her. And that's fine. Uh, so the next thing you're going to want to do is mess around with the registry settings. That's not it. Uh, and to do that, you go run again. Uh, reg edit or reg edit. Wow, why does my registry editing thing look different? Because everything is expanded. What's up with that? Okay, I'll just clear that up. Uh, okay, the first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, to change the time in which a menu delays. Uh, before it pops up, or the time that it sort of lags, I guess it's very unnoticeable. Uh, I can tell you that I've I've changed it in the past on other computers, and and it is very very unnoticeable. 
Uh, but to do this, you go to Current User, Control Panel, Desktop, and you go to Menu Show Delay. Uh, you can see that I've already done this. Uh, when you click on it, it will be on 400. The value will be 400. You can either change it to 200 so there's a shorter delay, or you can just change it to zero so there's no delay, uh, which is what I've done. Uh, the next thing that you're going to want to do in the registry is um, to go to local machine, system, current control set, and control. Um, this is the time it takes in which a program will uh, shut down or close, like the process will end. Uh, this, I, I don't really understand how it works, but yeah, that's that's what it is basically. The time in which uh, it will take to shut down. And to reduce that, you can either change it to 2000 or you can change it to 1000. Uh, we'll just do 1000 for no, no real reason. Um, and that will that will speed up the time in which the program closes somehow. It will mess around with other processes to get this one working as quick as it can to close, basically. Okay, we're done with the registry now, so we can exit this. Uh, maybe I should have expanded and despanded stuff. Okay, uh, the fourth thing that you're going to want to do to slightly speed up your computer is to download a cleaning tool. Uh, the best one is uh, C Cleaner or C, -C, -C Cleaner. I don't know how to say it, uh, but it's basically just C Cleaner. Uh, it's freeware, so it's free to download, and it works very well. It uh, first time I ran it on my home computer, it got rid of um, like a few gigs of temporary files, um, which would be hogging up my computer slightly. So. It's something that you should definitely download and definitely use every so often uh, to clean up your computer. So I shall download this. It looks like it shall be fairly quick so I can continue talking to you without speeding this up. Uh, I'd just like to say, well, I have a little bit of time here. Thanks for 500,000 total upload views, by the way. Uh, I got it yesterday, which, which was exciting. Um, it's been, it's been like a year and a half since I've been making videos, even though they're like three months apart per, per video, uh, and I've been getting quite a few views on some of them, which is awesome, and I hope I continue to do so, even though this video will most likely only get like a hundred views. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's downloaded, I can get it out of, out of Firefox now, and run this. You don't have to run it as administrator, but I've just got used to running everything as administrator, because Windows 7 is a bit of a bit of a bitch. Uh, yes. No, fuck, I didn't want to click install Google Chrome, because Google Chrome is crap. Anyway, I'll skip through the installation. Okay, we finished installing, and we can... We don't need to see release notes, but we can run CC Cleaner, and I'll just give you a brief... Uh, brief... Intelligent, sure. Um, brief run through of how to use this. Uh, okay, it comes up with some with Internet Explorer. Uh, it will delete that even though even though that's probably not your default browser because nobody uses Internet Explorer. It will come up with that and it will delete anything that's not needed in there. It will delete temporary files and a lot of stuff from Windows Explorer and the system. And yeah, uh, so I'll run the cleaner and see how things go. Gives gives you a warning that it will delete some uh, delete some files. Seems like it may may take a while, so I'll come back again. Okay, we're done. It's deleted um, it's only deleted the gig of temporary files and stuff. Uh, a lot less than on my actual computer. I guess mum keeps this computer pretty pretty clean of temporary files and stuff, but then why would she need to use temporary files and stuff like that? Uh, you can also clean out the registry, basically by scanning for issues and then fixing selected issues. You can remove uninstall programs, which which I can show you on here because Google Chrome was installed with this and I don't want it. So I can run an installer and change default browser to Firefox. Firefox is the best, by the way. Just letting you know. Okay, that was the quickest uninstall in the world. No, I don't want to provide you with any details and shit of why I uninstalled. Okay, sweet. 
done uh, no need to worry about any of that but basically that's that's how you speed up your computer uh, you probably won't even notice that it's sped up if you do then good for you uh, then I hope you I hope you enjoy your new speedy full computer thanks for watching and I'm trying to say subscribe but subscribe not subs not scubscribe that was the biggest fail of an outro ever goodbye